In Greater Idlib, the Russian Aerospace Forces continue their airstrike diplomacy, pounding Turkish-funded terrorists across the region. On September 20th and September 21st, this diplomatic campaign was also supported by the Syrian army that struck terrorist positions in northern Latakia and south of the Infor Highway in southern Idlib. The U.S.-led coalition and affiliated organizations have been increasing their business activities connected with the seized Syrian oil infrastructure. According to Syrian state media, just on September 20th, at least 30 tanker trucks filled with oil from the U.S.-controlled fields left Syria through the Awalid area on the border with Iraq. The development of the seized oil reserves and export of the extracted oil is being conducted by the U.S. company Delta Crescent Energy. The company operates in coordination with U.S.-backed Kurdish armed groups, which are currently known under the brand of the Syrian Democratic Forces, SDF. In public statements, the SDF leadership often uses loud words about patriotism and the need to serve the interests of the Syrian people. However, in practice, the patriotic intentions of the Kurdish leaders are limited to more practical things, like the looting of Syrian oil resources in coordination with the Washington establishment.